Now it's time for your news break. Good evening, everyone. I'm Derek Brizendine with the Daily Star Journal's News Break. A man is in custody this evening following shots fired around noon today. Law enforcement from the area responded to the southwest corner of Johnson County. Law enforcers searched for the suspect for about two hours before taking Jefferson Dooley into custody without incident. Sheriff Scott Munzerman says Dooley would not respond to law enforcers and was taken to the hospital for precautionary reasons. The victim was taken to Kansas City for treatments. The weapon was found and formal charges are pending. Those who supported those fighting on the front lines and frontline fighters at the Missouri Veterans Home in Warrensburg, men and women who have given so much for their country are not done yet. Employees and residents from the home delivered muffins and coffee to the Warrensburg Police and Fire Departments and Johnson County Ambulance District personnel on Monday. Melissa Terry says the veterans feel like the community does so much for them and they wanted to give back. Long before sunup, organizations and businesses began setting up floats and by 8 a.m. on Saturday people began finding their spots along the parade route in preparations for Saturday's University of Central Missouri homecoming parade. In sports, Crestridge football is moving on. The Cougars got revenge on Wednesday on Friday after the Greyhounds defeated the Cougars in the final week of the regular season 20 to 14. This week though, Crestridge won 30 to 12. The Cougars will travel to take on Skyline on Friday. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. Unfortunately, Warrensburg football is done for the season. Helias defeated the Tigers 35 to 12. Head coach Tom Scarborough says the team will use this season to help prepare for next season. The Tigers finished 3-7 on the year. To college football now, UCM welcomed Washburn for the annual homecoming game. In a tight one, the Mules won 29-27 to move to 6-2 on the season. That's all we have for you now. Find more news and feature stories in Tuesday's Daily Star Journal. Thanks for watching.